Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mr. Addison of Property Hunter Ghana. In this video, I will give you 5 tips on how to avoid fraud when buying the land in Ghana. Let's get started. Number one, take your time. Most people fall in the trap of buying their first property and are so excited and cannot wait to pay for the property. If you do that, you are most likely to fall into a scam or being scammed by someone. Take your time. Don't rush. You will definitely buy that property. Don't let the one who is selling the property to you also push you. Some people, especially those who want to defraud you, will try to do things that will push you to make sure you pay the money as quickly as possible. Some people, what they do is that they will tell you things like, three people came to look at this property and they are willing to buy it. Someone even said he will bring the money next week. Don't be pushed. Don't be rushed. Take your time. It's an obvious thing to do, but most people fall in the trap of rushing to pay for the property and will not take their time and, and go through the process step by step and make sure they are doing the right thing. If you take your time, you will save yourself a lot of headache in the end. Number two, get help. It may sound obvious that you need to get help when you are going to when you are going to buy a property that you are going to use a huge chunk of your life savings to acquire. But some people want to keep it secret to themselves and want to go in all alone. You could get help from a real estate agent like myself a professional who knows exactly what he's doing or you could get help from someone a relative or a friend who has ever bought a land before especially in Accra and who knows the process of acquiring the land let the person help you guide you through the step one after the other such a person may be able to detect when you are being led into a fraudulent deal or a professional who knows what he's doing may be able to prevent you falling into a fraudulent deal get help it's an obvious thing to do if the person who is selling the land to you is a fraudulent person and realize that you, you don't know what you are doing or you've never done it or you've never done it before, it's like taking candy from a baby. He is going to easily defraud you. Get someone who knows what he is doing or have done it before to help you through the process. It's a very simple thing to do and it's a very important thing to do. If so far you are enjoying the tips I'm giving you, please don't forget to subscribe. And please share the video on your social media platform. Let's help other people or family and friends avoid scam when they are buying land or any landed property in Accra. It's very important that you share this video with friends and family and help them avoid scam when buying lands in Accra. Number three, go off recommendations. It is something that is very important if you want to avoid scam. You could ask a family or a friend who have bought land in an area where you want to buy the land to help to recommend people who are trustworthy who you can rely on when buying land in that area it is not foolproof that if some someone recommend a person to you that person may not be a fraud because if someone was a good person before doesn't mean that that person cannot be a bad person tomorrow but it reduces your chances of being defrauded it is better to go with a known sources than to go with an unknown source that you've never dealt with or someone who, are, who doesn't have that track record or that history of selling land without problem. It's always important. Go with recommendations if possible. This, this tip is where possible. Sometimes you might not be able to find someone who could recommend people to you, especially in an area where you want to buy. You probably don't have anyone who bought land in, in, uh, in those areas. But if you've got someone who bought land in an area where you are looking at buying a land, try to ask the person to recommend trusted sources to you so that you can deal with those sources too. Number four. Before I go to number four, I would like to remind you again, if you are not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe right now and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever a new content drops. 
and please try and share the video with family and friends and help them sharing is caring share the knowledge let people let let people get this tip on how to avoid scam it's very important a lot of people are falling a lot of people are falling victim to land scam in accra and some people have even given up on buying land in accra but we want to we want to avoid such occurrences okay let's go to number four number four ask around make inquiries whenever you are going to buy a landed property especially a land or even a house most of the time it will save you a lot of headache if you could go around and ask people who the owner of the property is who is the true owner of the land if there is any issue with the land people around know Ghanaians we talk a lot people will easily share share information with you if you ask them what I like doing is to go to nearby chop bars uh, drinking spots hairdressing salons and things like that and talk to people you, you could even ask any one person around whether the, the person has any knowledge of the land in question people will easily share information with you sometimes even the person who is selling the land to you is a known froster people will easily tell you if you ask around another way of getting information is to go to your 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 district assembly where you have people who have who are very good knowledge about the districts and about the lands and the history of, of the various lands in those areas to, to give you information about the land where possible or by just asking regular folks around whether or not they have any, any information that they can share with you and most of them will be willing to share any information where relevant my final tip to you when buying the land in Accra and you are trying to avoid scam is when it's too good to be true then it's too good to be true some people follow very cheap deals and get themselves into trouble i personally i like good deals when the deal is good you can't miss it but when following good deals be careful sometimes a deal might be too good to be true someone might be selling the land way below market value ask yourself why is this person selling this land or this property way below market value there might be a reason there might be a hidden agenda or something the person is not telling you try to take your time especially if the deal is too good to be true don't rush if, if someone is selling you something very cheap at the full day people like at the full day <laughs> take your time don't be caught in that web a lot of people have lost money just because they didn't take their time and the good the deal was too good to be true the deal was so fantastic they just rushed into it and couldn't wait to pay if you pay money to someone it is very difficult getting that money back even if you get your money back it might not you, you might not get the whole money back or you might not get the money as and when you need it so take your time if the if the deal is too good to be true then it's too good to be true don't follow at the full day and lose your money try to make the right decisions if this is your first time watching my video Thank you for spending time with me. I am Mr. Addison of Property Hunter Ghana, Ghana's number one real estate agency based in Accra. If you want any house to buy, a property to buy, give me a call and I will help you. Unfortunately, I don't deal in lands, I deal only in houses. If you want a house to buy, I am your guy. Residential property is what I specialize in. So if you want a house to buy, please give me a call and then we could do business. Thank you very much.